Okay, guys, new fan one one here. I'm gonna go over the uh, EX falling pin. Hidden buff that was in this current patch. And it's a very significant one because this is actually going to... I mean, you gotta spend meter for it, but you can basically do stuff like this. It's an OTG, they can't do anything about it. So it's like, sitting there, they don't get enough time to just wake up and do something. That's going to hit them regardless. You can even do this for like, you either burn health bars, off a weapon punch, you know, and that, the two bars will give you a guaranteed 15%. So a 22% combo now becomes a 37% combo. And that's important for this character. Now, understand this. One, yes, you are using two bars of resources for this most likely to get anything above 40. There are times when you don't have to do that. But, for the most part, you get 45 right there, you had to spend two bars. Any hard knockdown or something, I'm just timing that, that should work just fine. But you know, like, okay, that's like your one bar. 33%. That's not bad. And it does make up for the fact that this doesn't connect, which still bothers me. But as a player, you have to grow around what you know. And what we know is 312 doesn't connect on male characters. How do we remember this? Well, for one, we have to realize 312 isn't that good. Second of all, if you do manage to take it, well, that's supposed to connect. Basically, that should connect to at least 33% or 32%. I mean, that, that it's it's small stuff. I mean, we already went over the and that's, aside from me missing that hand, which would have landed, that's 35%. I just want to go over stuff that this string has one new string. That's it. You can combo the a split into that, into that, the unblock rule. That is 45% two bars. You're still not getting a lot. I mean, I guess if you want to have fun, you can do stuff like this. Execution's not on tonight. I've had a few weeks. But, um, you get the general idea of what I'm saying. And I also gotta make other notes. That just got changed to negative 4. Is that one? It's still safe, it's just no longer plus. Therefore, the only plus normals you have are standing two, standing four. Um, standing four is actually a really good move because it does do a lot of damage, and that also does 35%. The problem with standing four is that, like in all of these variations, this is a very slow move. Better off standing four. It gives you less damage, but it's low and it comes out fast. It's just that. And just go from there. Um, that is actually something I want to try with. That was supposed to be a like some rock in hand. Or you could do that. That's 47%. I mean, that's significant to me. Because. Not only are you getting that mid-screen, like the unblockable, they can't break the damage, you can't break the damage on flick. That hurts. That's free damage, and I would definitely not leave it on the table. So, I don't know how you're going to incorporate this into your game, but I would definitely do so. I mean, you are using the two bars in meter, but at the same time, with the character that you're playing, you're getting a lot of meter to begin with, and he does... Such little damage, you gotta make the most, the most of it. So, I hope this helps some people. I definitely think that this gives Shanak Necromancer variation 
better zoning at the moment just because of the EX OTGs. If it didn't OTG, and I can't be I can't be honest with you, I don't know if that's gonna stay or not for future patches. But if it does stay and you have moves like EX Flick to cause that really, really hard knockdown that you need. You know, and if you don't want to spend the meter, you can do 10 when they're getting up, and you will still stuff them most likely, as long as they're rising at that point. So you gotta so basically, you get the gist of this character already. It's just that I feel like the EX Falling Hand buff is really...